started am i trying to say this so in the last class we successfully completed um in case of any doubts i will give you time to ask the doubts okay in between don't disturb the class um uh, so we all things we are completed right now let's discuss the tolerance let's discuss the tolerance <clears throat> up to here yesterday i mean last class we completed and uh, now we can start from here everyone concentrate everyone basically my voice is not good i have some throat infection uh, if you don't mind okay uh, sorry yeah please go on mute everyone okay so in the tall hari krishna please go on mute so everyone in the tolerance during the gl creation i mean during the gl gl new gl global parameters during the gl discussions we already discussed what is meant by tolerance how many types of tolerance why tolerance what is the purpose of tolerance we already discussed anyone can anyone unmute and speak how many types of tolerances tell me the answer 3 3 4 anyone four what is that gl tolerance. tolerance user tolerance vendor and customer gl tolerance employee tolerance vendor tolerance and customer tolerance <laughs> customer tolerance during the gl we already maintain gl tolerance and uh, employee tolerance now let's try to create vendor and customer tolerances okay we already did what is meant by tolerance remember everyone what is meant by tolerance means limit so it's a sacrificing value. sacrificing amount sacrifice so here we will set up one limit up to that limit we are going to sacrifice the value we have already given lot of nodes and all <laughs> let it be so let's set up define tolerance for vendor the t code is called oba3 and either you can go to this t code otherwise you can go to this path everyone so what is the path spro financial accounting accounts receivable and payable business transaction outgoing payment define tolerance for vendor this is the path either you can go to through t code or either you can go to through path also let's open sap s4 hana 2022 so everyone let's create the tolerance means here we will set up one limit up to that limit we are going to sacrifice the value and go to spro enter sap reference img select your financial accounting and uh, accounts receivable and payable and here business transaction and outgoing payment then manual outgoing payment here define tolerance for suppliers or vendor okay you just double click on this execute button click on your new entry here you want to set up so what is our company code our company code is called bm10 then don't maintain any group here and directly you can write the this bm10 tolerance tolerance group so here revenue and loss revenue and loss okay so here 
10 rupees or 1% of invoice value, 10 rupees or 1% of invoice value. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. Then one more, one more. Click on your next. Then BM20. And here uh, BM20 tolerance. And here same thing. 10 rupees or 1%. 10 rupees or 1%. I will tell you one thing. So this limit confirmed by whom? That time we will discuss. Client. Client will be confirmed. Yeah. Good. Click on your save and back. The next one. Next one is very, very, very important one. Define document type and number ranges. Define document type and number ranges. <coughs> Define document type and the number ranges. So example, now we are configure. Now we are configure accounts payable. Now we are configure accounts payable. We already configured and posted GL. In the GL, what is the document types we configured? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and A B. In the A in the A P accounts payable, we want to configure K A, K G, K R, and K Z. Example here, we already we have one pro forma here. We define one pro forma right here. Here. So what we do? And KA vendor document, KR vendor invoice, KZ vendor credit memo, sorry, KG vendor credit memo, KZ vendor payment. We already discussed what is meant by document type. Document type is classify the document entry. Every document type we are going to assign the number range. So during the document entry posting, we are specified the document type based on the document type for every accounting entry or document entry, one number will going to generate it. So let's go and watch our previous, I mean, let's remember our previous sessions. We already discussed what is mean by document type and number ranges. How you configured GL document type SA and AB, same to same process. Same to same process, you want to configure KA, KR, KG, and KJ. We already discussed what is meant by document type and why document type. Same to same for customer document type and number ranges also for later. Okay, GL document type. Vendor document type, customer document type, even asset to document types also will come. Document type and number ranges. For example, everyone, I have uh, one sweet memory for this document type. Maybe almost uh, 10 years back here and there. Almost I am telling. I, after learning uh, SAP, not for S4 HANA. That time we, have, we learn in ECC. It's a old version actually. Um, when I attend the first interview uh, in Banjar Hills, I believe one company is there. First interview, first question. Explain about document type and number ranges. So <laughs> still I'm remembering this question actually. Explain about document type. I mean, when you attend any interview, first they will ask self-introduction. After the self-introduction, they will start to ask internal question and answers. First interview, first question, explain about document type and number ranges. Okay. So this is very important interview question. Yeah. So let's configure document type and number ranges. Let's configure document type and the number ranges. So this three steps, everyone. Define document type. 
and define document type for a ledger, define number ranges. How you configured SA and AB? Same to same type, you need to configure KA, KG, KR, KZ. Okay, same to same type. So this is the path, everyone. Either you can go to through path or either you can go to uh, e-code. Let's go to the path. SPRO, financial accounting, financial accounting, global setting, document and document type. Okay, let's go to the path. Go to SPRO. Once again, press enter. SAP reference IMG, select here uh, financial accounting and here, anyone tell me the path? Global financial setting. Account. Very I good. Financial global. accounting, global setting. Document. Document, document type and number ranges. One second, I will. Basically, my health is not good. Anyway, document type and number ranges. Okay. So in the document type, we have two things. Define document type, define document type in a ledger. Even during the GL discussion, I already explained what is the difference between number range creation and document type. What is the changes ECC and S4 HANA. Now we are discussing S4 HANA. Okay. <laughs> define document type. So you just double click on define document type. Oh, all no. all Sir, please go on which end. Arsha, please join tomorrow. Otherwise, please. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm meeting with you. Everyone, in case of any other works, please join tomorrow. Everyone. Don't disturb to others. Please. My kindly request. Okay. Please, everyone. So here all are standard document types, everyone. Define uh, document type. And all are standard document type. Example, let it be. In the during the GL, we discussed SA, we discussed SA and AB. We discussed SA and AB. Now we want to discuss KA for vendor document, KG for vendor credit memo, and KR for vendor invoice, KZ for vendor payment. Okay. Example, uh, what is a two digit uh, you hear? For KA, what is the two digit? Double click on here. 17. Set up here any two number digit, everyone. Example, KA 17. 17. Then one more, one step back. Either you can keep it same number, otherwise you can change if you require. And KG also 17 they maintain. Let's take 18. I'm changing 18. KG 18. And one step back. And uh, KR 19. KR 19. Then uh, KZ 15. KZ 15. Any two digit you can maintain everyone. Either you can keep it as it is, as otherwise you can change. 17, 18, 19, 20. So two, one step back. The next one. Define document type in a ledger. You just double click on this execute button. What is our now? Extension ledger, everyone. What is our extension ledger? B1, B2. B? OL, B1, B2. No. B1, B2 or B1 something is enough. B1, B1. B1, SA and AB we already configured. Click on your new entry. KA, 98. KG, 98. KR, 98. KZ, 98 how you configured SA and AB, same to same process. So I'm not, not required to explain all the nodes and all. One step back, back again. Again, you just double click. One more extension ledger. 
B to a B two. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. And uh, same thing, K A ninety nine, K G ninety nine, K R ninety nine, K Z ninety nine. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. Okay, this is the one. save and back. The next one. Define number ranges. Define document number ranges. Define document number ranges. So what is our company code? BM10. Click on your change interval. Click on your change interval. So I can ask one question. Why we created uh, X1 number ranges? Anyone? For recurring, for recurring document. Sample document. Recurring Full document. document. Sample document. X1 X1 for recurring. X2 for sample. sample document. Yeah. And uh, 98 and 99. So the general ledger. View. Extension ledger. Whenever you post the accounting entry, if you want to reflect it, the document entry for specific ledger, that time 98 and 99 will go into reflected. And uh, 0, 01 for S A, <laughs> 0, 02 for A B. Okay. And uh, click on your add. What is the two digit we maintain there? K A, K G, like that. Here 17, 18, 19, and 15. 17, 20, 23, 17, 0, 0, 0. 170999. Enter. Next, what is that? Anyone remember? 18, 18, 2023, 18, 0, 0, 0, 18, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 0, 0, 0, 15. 0, 9, 9, 9. Like that. Do you want to write everyone? Or interest to write or same? Not required, sir. No? no? Good. Click on your save and back. The next one. Let's complete the uh, next two steps and then we will discuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Create reconciliation account. What is meant by reconciliation account? Note it down one note, everyone. Before going to note it down, I will explain one thing, everyone. Put the heading of reconciliation account. Put the heading of reconciliation account. Put the heading of reconciliation account. And first, let's try to understand everything. Example, example, everyone. We created uh, some BPs, everyone. Example, domestic BP, foreign BP, inventory BP, service, and one time. And for this BP, we are assigning to our accounts group. Domestic vendor, foreign vendor, inventory vendor, service vendor, and one time vendor. Everyone, concentrate everyone. Concentrate here. For example, let us take inventory vendors or inventory BP or inventory vendors, whatever. Inventory business partner group. And uh, service, otherwise let's take domestic. Domestic BP group and foreign BP group. Under this, under this, 
we will create the BP. For every accounts group, every accounts group, we are creating one reconciliation account. Every accounts group, we are creating one reconciliation account. Reconciliation account one and reconciliation account two. Example. Example, reconciliation account two. Reconciliation account two. Everyone. For example, under this group, we need to create the BP. For example, Ramu and Co comes under domestic or foreign? Anyone? Comes under do Ramu and Co. Comes domestic. 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 Ramu and Co. And Ramana Private Limited comes under foreign. domestic. Let it be Ramana Private Limited comes under domestic. Example, uh, John, John Private Limited. Maybe they are located in France. Wait, domestic or foreign? Foreign. Foreign. Let it be comes under John Private Limited. Everyone. Example, now you can concentrate here. What is this? This is the BP or vendor, whatever. If you, during the accounting entry posting, we will select this vendors or BPs. If you post any accounting entry, maybe we will post vendor invoice, vendor payment, vendor credit memo, vendor document, we will post different different type of document entries or accounting entries. Let us assume after accounting entry posting for Ramu and Co, the value reflected 1000 rupees. And Ramana Private Limited value reflected uh, 5000 rupees. So 1000 and 5000, how much? 1000 and 5000, how much? 6,000. 6, 6, For 6,000 rupees reflected on reconciliation account. 6,000 rupees reflected on reconciliation account. So what you people want to understand? This vendor is called subledger. This GL, reconciliation account, nothing but GL. This is called main ledger. During the vendor creation or BP creation, we are going to assign the reconciliation account. If you post any accounting entry, if you post any accounting entry, value should be reflected subledger and main ledger as well. Subledger and main ledger as well. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Please note it on first. <clears throat> note it on one note. Vendor reconciliation account. Note it down clearly. Note it down. Interview question actually. Vendor reconciliation account comes under sundry creditor. Vendor reconciliation account comes under sundry creditor. Comes under sundry creditor. Next, next. Put comma or next line. Would you know? Reconciliation, nothing but GL. Reconciliation, nothing but GL. GL. Next one. 
during the business partner creation during the business partner creation we are going to map reconciliation account we are going to map reconciliation account Next line noted down. If you post a, uh, not, not like that. Uh, no, no, don't write if you post, sorry. Next line noted down. Reconciliation account we are called, reconciliation account we are called main ledger. Reconciliation account we are called main ledger. Reconciliation account we are called main ledger. BP, BP is called, business partner is called sub ledger. Business partner means maybe vendor or maybe customer, whatever. In our scenario, it's vendor. Next line, note it down. Next line. If you post any accounting entries, if you post any accounting entries on specific business partner, in the bracket vendor, on specific business partner, in the bracket vendor. The value should be reflected. Value should be reflected. Sub ledger and as well as main ledger. Sub ledger and as well as main ledger. In the bracket, business partner and reconciliation account. Business partner and reconciliation account. Business partner and next, next line audit on huh? why because why it's reflecting why because during the business partner creation why because during the business partner creation in the bracket vendor during the business partner creation in the bracket vendor. We are assigning or mapping, we are mapping reconciliation account. 
Sorry, sir, your voice is breaking. Check your internet. We are mapping our reconciliation account. Anyone, uh, please uh, uh, read one. Please read the note. Who will read? Raise hand. Can read? Yes, no, not interested. I'll read, sir. Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. Read slowly with a loud voice. A vendor reconciliation account comes under sundry creditors. Reconciliation, nothing but GL. During the business partner creation, we are going to map reconciliation account. Reconciliation account, we are called as main ledger. Business partner is called as sub ledger. If we post any accounting entries on specific business partner in the bracket vendor, value should be reflected in sub ledger as well as main ledger, business partner and reconciliation account. Why? Because during the business partner creation bracket vendor, we are assigning or mapping our reconciliation account. Reconciliation account. Clear? Clear everyone? Ah, note it down this also. Example, note it down this. Note it down this also. For example, Did everyone? Done, sir. Yeah, good. Done. Yeah. <clears throat> everyone, let's create the reconciliation account. Let's create the reconciliation account. Reconciliation account. Vendor reconciliation account comes under sundry creditor. Customer reconciliation account. Anyone? Comes debitor. under sundry debitor. Sundry debitor. Reconciliation account, nothing but GL. It is called, we are called as a main ledger. For example, everyone, vendor, we are called as a sub ledger. GL, we are called as a main ledger. Customer, we are called as a sub ledger. GL, we are called as a main ledger. Asset, we are called as a sub ledger. GL, we are called as a main ledger. If you post any document entries, or any accounting entries on specific sub ledger, the value should be reflected main ledger and as well as sub ledger. Sub ledger and as well as main ledger. Why? Because why? Because for the sub ledger, we are going to map the main ledger. For example, during the vendor BP creation, we are going to map the reconciliation account. We are going to map the reconciliation account. Okay. Let's create this uh, uh, reconciliation account. Sundry creditor. What is the number range we maintain? Sundry creditor. Uh, number range, number range. Accounts group number range. Sundry creditor number range. What is that? Mm, this one. 24000 to 24999. Sundry creditor. This one. Okay. 
Listen careful, my dear students. Go to FS00 and let's close this hierarchy first for our understanding purpose. Go to FS00, enter and enter the company code PM10 and the GL number 1400000 and click on your create sundry creditor comes under balance sheet or profit and loss account it is an accounts group it is an a sundry creditor so here you can write domestic vendors or trade payables whatever domestic vendors account Domestic vendors account. Then click on your control data, your reconciliation account, asset, customer, and vendor and contract accounts, which is this is called subledgers, everyone. This is called subledgers, and if we are taking as a vendor. And uh, as usual, short key 001. Create bank interest app, field status group. Either you can take G001 standard, otherwise, otherwise, there is a specific field status group for the reconciliation accounts for the specific group, and it's a G0, this one, G067 reconciliation account. Either you can take this one for the reconciliation account purpose. Press enter and save. I'm repeating once again, my dear students. I'm repeating once again. 160000 company code BM10. So it is comes under sundry creditor. Sundry creditor comes under balance sheet. And domestic vendors and domestic vendors. Write the description. Create bank interest app. This domestic vendors comes under reconciliation account is a vendor and short key 001. Create bank interest app. Let's take G067. Press enter and save. Everyone, now concentrate here. I created domestic vendors. 140000 created domestic vendors. Now I want to create foreign vendors, one double zero, double zero, one. I want to create foreign vendors. Everyone, concentrate here. I'm, I want to create one four, double zero, zero, one. Guys, if you click on your create, for example, now I mean one zero zero zero. Let's see here. This is the inputs everyone. For example, now I want to create one four double zero 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 one. If you click on your create, all the inputs I want to take manually. Anyone? What is this? With the template. With the template. With the template means. We need to copy with the template means we need to copy the inputs from existing GL. We need to copy inputs. Inputs means GL account type, accounts group, description, reconciliation account, short key, field status group. That is the inputs. If you click on your create, you want to take the inputs manually. Why I want to take the manually? Why don't copy the inputs one GL to another GL? So if you click on here with the template, I am copying the inputs one four double zero double zero. Company code BM one zero one zero. So what I am creating, I am creating 140001. 
and I am copying the inputs. 140000. Creating one copying from zero. Then click on your OK. So all the things will go into copy. Now you can change the description. Change the description. Now everything will go into copy from that GL. Either if you click on your new entry, you need to enter all the inputs manually. If you click on your with template, you can copy inputs from existing GL. Okay, click on your save and back. No, sir, I'm not interested with the template. I can take manually. As your wish. Either you can take inputs manually, otherwise you can take like uh, with the template. Example, okay. I want to create one more. One four double zero zero two. I want to create inventory vendors or inventory trade payables, whatever. Some clients will call as a trade payables. Some client directly called as a vendors. It's a rule, I mean, similar plural like that. For example, I am creating 14002. So, which one I want to follow? With the template, create new. Anyone? Create Let's new. now yeah, click on your create new. If you click on your create new, these inputs want to take manually. Let's go to with create new. Select your balance sheet manually. You can take sundry creditors and here inventory vendors. Inventory vendors account. Click on your control data. Reconciliation account is vendor. Short key 001. Create bank interest app. G067, press enter and save. I'm creating one more, one more reconciliation account. 140003 service vendors. So go to 140003. I'm going to create or with template. Let's go to with template now. Click on your with template. I'm one four double zero double zero company code BM one zero. Click on your okay. All the inputs will go into copy. Simply you can change the description. Simply you can change the description. Service vendors. This this this. In case if you want to change, you can change. Otherwise, save. So either you can click on your create. Either you can click on your with the template, both are same. If you click on your create, all the inputs you want to take manually. <laughs> manually. If you use with the template, you can copy the inputs from existing GL. That is the one. Last one, uh, one four double zero zero four. One time vendors and vendors. Reconciliation account. Okay. Four. Let's click on your create. Otherwise, with the template. Here one time. It's a OT. One time. Let's press enter and save. You can check if you want and save. Okay, so do one thing, everyone. Go to settings, hierarchy display, display accounts in navigation tree. Click on your save. Okay, slash and go back. Slash and go back. Again, come to FS00. Let's see the tree. Sundry creditor. This is the sundry creditor. Domestic vendor, foreign vendor, inventory vendor, service vendor, one-time vendor. For example, if you create, for example, if you create 
Uh, where is that? Let's do one thing. What is our uh, accounts table, right? For example, here we note one thing na, where you noted. For example, if you create Ramu and Co, during the Ramu and Co creation, we want to assign which reconciliation account? Domestic reconciliation account. 14000. During the John, John Private Limited, we want to assign 14001. If you map after the master data creation, we will post the document entries. If you post any accounting entries on specific BP group, I mean specific BP business partner, the value should be reflected business partner and as well as GL. Sir, why we need to, why, what is the use for this? What is the use for this? The use is, the end of the day, the client want to generate the reports. Clients want to generate the reports. How much value for domestic? How much value for foreign? How much value for inventory? How much value for service? Either you can generate the reports for specific vendors or specific business partner. Either the reports in group level for the reporting purpose. Okay, and like that. One second, one second, everyone. So everyone, so later we need to create business partner, BP. 